Welcome back to another YouTube video and today we're going to be talking about featured snippets and how we can essentially grab more featured snippets with this quick little hack. So what a lot of the times I get asked is, hey Kaz, I'm in position 4 or 5 and I can't get a featured snippet um, no matter what I do, right? Now, a featured snippet, to actually acquire a featured snippet, um, you can be in like the top 10 spots and you can essentially try and grab the featured snippet. So that's one thing that we need to bear in mind when we are going into this video and also when we are looking to acquire featured snippets because that's super important. A lot of people think that it's more so to do with like the actual rankings, improving your overall, your overall rankings. It's actually not the case. So what I have done here is just build up moneysavingexpert.com and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find some featured snippets that they aren't ranking in and what are, where we could actually improve um, upon. So if we go to organic keywords on the left hand side here, you will need Ahrefs for this, but um, I'm going to assume that all of you guys do have this. <clears throat> so then what we're going to do is we're going to do positions, let's say two to let's say Eight. I'm going to click apply and then we'll, what we're also going to be looking at is the SERP features so we're going to do featured snippet where target uh, doesn't rank and we're going to click on apply so we've got positions 2 to 8 here and then on here we're going to do, be looking at where target doesn't rank and then featured snippet click apply and we're going to go and do so right now we have got 924,000 keywords we're going to click on show results it's going to be a little bit lower so we've now got 23,000 keywords right <coughs> so now D DWP cost of living payments if we actually search this as you can see here We've got government.uk, um, so the government website ranking in the featured snippet, and our website, so Money Saving Expert, we are position one, two, three, four, five. I do like to ignore these because these are top stories, so anything that's like a trending topic, you will get what's called like a top stories pack for a few days and then it'll disappear. So, for example, um, if Justin Bieber was to go and release a new al album, you'll get a top stories pack. Or if, say, for example, Conor McGregor's fighting this weekend, um, you'll get a top stories pack, and then usually this will disappear if they aren't doing anything, any or sorry, if they're not um, doing anything trend worthy. So the reason why this has um, come along is because probably. DWP cost of living payments have either increased or they've decreased or for example something along those lines has happened so I don't like to um, include these when I am looking at the featured snippets so going back to what I was saying before so money, sa money um, saving expert is position one two three four five so they're position five and um, this is the page here that is ranking for it now as we can see here, the cost of living grant, um, or the nine hundred pound cost of living grant, is actually, is it actually nine hundred pound? I don't think it is. I think because this has been updated three days ago, I reckon it's been reduced to six hundred and fifty pound. So, for example, here, um, two hundred ninety nine pound. Right. So I'm going to assume we get two hundred ninety nine pound. Let's take a look and see what is actually getting the featured snippet. Providing the £650 cost of living payments in 2022 to 2023. Um, cost of living payments. So one thing that's straight off the bat, they don't actually have like a a question and an answer uh, where they are actually answering that. So one thing that I would be looking to do if I was these guys is I would be looking to essentially have the question like how much or sorry DWP cost of living payments or how much is DWP cost of living payments as a subheading and then I would be answering it. Again the government.uk website isn't doing anything out of the ordinary. They've essentially just um, landed a little bit lucky when they've got this featured snippet. Let's take a look and see 
if we do minus.gov.uk, so basically because this is a featured snippet and position or the featured snippets owned by government um, UK website, we're going to do minus.gov.uk uh, and see who's second in line. So then we've got uh, the independent, and again, one thing that is very, very clear is they've actually got the dates. So if we take a look here, um, from today, February 16th, from today, 16th of February. Do, 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 do. So one thing that I would be looking to do if I was these guys is I would have the full date, like what these have done. Um, also looks like they are preferring bullet points as well, um, which we do have bullet points, but we actually don't have the amount mentioned. So potentially what I would be looking to do is try to essentially replicate what these guys have, right? Because um, position one, these guys have bullet pointed list answer, so have these guys. So I would be looking to do something similar to this as well. Um, it also looks like there's three different types of DWP payments, which we should probably be including on our page as well. Um, now let's take a look and see who is independent, independent UK. Then it's the times, um, cost of living payments, and again, they've, they've, they have from 25th of April to 17th of May, I'm seeing this more and more in all of these featured snippets that we're looking at. So that's another indicator that we are, uh, we don't actually have that on our page. So yeah, we, we for, for whatever reason, um, they, don't, they haven't got the actual dates on the page. So I would be looking to have that um, added on. And also, um, um, what I would also be doing is, going in and also making certain that these are up to date, so to 2024 as well. Um, let's take a look at a couple more pages as well. Um, when is the next da, 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 UK tax brackets? Right, let's take a look at this. So again, government.uk website ranking position one for the featured snippet. And it also looks like they have got a HTML table, right? Let's take a look and see what Money Saving Expert have done here. So they've got a, they do have a HTML table. And let's see, band, personal allowance, basic rate, higher rate, additional rate. BA, under your personal allowance, PA. No taxable income. So all they need, actually need to do here, so they, they actually have all the information, which is pr quite the annoying part about this as a website owner, right? So if we actually take a look at first glance, you would say, well, this table here is actually better. Now, what you need to understand is sometimes Google can be a little bit dumb um, and what the government.uk website have done is they've actually split it into three different columns, right? So they've got band, they have personal, or they have the different types of bands, right, in column A. Then they have the taxable income, so anything up to 12,570, you get 0% tax, right? So from for a robot reading this, it's very, very easy to understand, right? So it, if a robot was to come, or come along, which that's what Google is, um, Google would read this and be like, right, okay, if so, if somebody is earning 65 grand um, a year, how much of that is taxable income? Okay, so they are in the higher tax rate at um, 40%, right? Whereas with this, so it, it does give the answer, don't get me wrong, by any means, it still does get the answer. Um, however, what they should be doing is adding a third column here um, and essentially splitting it up. So, Personal allowance is 12,570 and the, the this should just be in its own column basically and then same goes with this, um, same goes with this because right now it, this is a little bit harder to understand um, for a robot as well so just bear that in mind when you guys are looking at tables, try look to see which is essentially or sorry what columns um, 
is essentially helping the robot understand because that's all the government um, the UK website's done. Don't get me wrong, this table aesthetically doesn't look better. This table aesthetically looks better, but from an SEO point of view, it's not really SEO optimized. Now, if we were to take, then take a look, it'd be interesting to see. Yeah, so again, the second in, in line, right? So if we just take a look here, bearing in mind, we're position two for this keyword, right? If we then take a look and do minus gov, again, simply business, very, very, very similar um, style HTML table. These guys are in position, um, let's take a look, where are they? Simply, they're not even on page one, these guys. So that just goes to show you that their table is a lot better than a lot of these guys that are on page one. So they're not even in the featured snippet queue. With this table, they're not in the featured snippet queue. So let's just take a look. Um, simplybusiness.co.uk, again, very similar strategy, personal allowance up to 12, up to 12,570, 0%, basic rate 12,571, very similar strategy to what I said that uh, money saving experts should be doing, but they're not. Let's see who is in third position, simplybusiness.co.uk, and there's nobody else that is, um, getting the feature snippet, let's see why these guys, so these guys don't have a HTML table. If these guys were to just have a HTML table um, and split it into three columns, then it would definitely work. So just bear that in mind when you guys are looking to get featured snippets, do this method. Um, first of all, go to Ahrefs, do positions two to eight, and then search feature where target doesn't rank and then it has a featured snippet and then it, when you are trying to analyze and figure out why you don't have the featured snippet do the featured snippet queue um, so where you do minus site colon and you can see who is in the second spot for the featured snippet queue as well so that has been my video on sniping featured snippets some people call it so if you guys do have any questions feel free to drop them down below in the comment section and also if you guys want help from myself to grow your organic traffic make sure to check out casual thanks